TSMC founder Morris Chang drew a big crowd at his first public address of the year on Wednesday. Speaking at the Taipei Forum, Chang gave his view on why Taiwan is successful in the global chip sector. The 89-year-old also told the story of how Intel once refused to invest in TSMC as it didn't see profits in a chip manufacturing business. Business leaders, including TSMC's founder and Pegatron chairman Tong Zixian, were in the lineup of a Taipei Forum on Wednesday. The event drew some 500 participants. The 89-year-old Chang delivered a keynote on Taiwan's strengths in semiconductor manufacturing. Intel, the previously mighty Intel has announced it also wants to enter the foundry business. To us, this proclamation comes off as quite ironic. Back then, they too would not have thought they'd want to do wafer manufacturing someday. Chang recalled how when TSMC was being founded, he had sought investment from Intel but was rejected. Today, Intel finds itself in an ironic position of taking up a business it once burned. Chang said that TSMC has come a long way. Taiwan's strengths are its talent and its operational and managerial abilities. Chang compared the semiconductor sectors of the U.S., China and South Korea. He said U.S. semiconductor firms rely on subsidies, which boost short-term competitiveness but don't guarantee longevity. As with Chinese firms, he said they are no rival to TSMC. Samsung is TSMC's biggest rival. Why? Because South Korea's strengths in chip making are similar to Taiwan's. Nicknamed Taiwan's Sacred Mountain, TSMC plays a pivotal role in Taiwan's economy. Speaking on whether a second Sacred Mountain could rise in the future, Chang said it would depend on long term stable development and not on short term changes. He called on the government, society, and TSMC to work together to preserve Taiwan's strengths in the industry.